Hey, Shalom, we're going to shout out today by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us this truth, through the Kadash, the Holy Spirit. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there listening and learning the hopeful elect. Shalom. 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 Hey, you know, today, we're just going to get right into it. And brothers got anything. You know, a lot of prophecies been going on this week, right? These devils, these devils uh, 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 have a lot of rumors of war out here. And, and, and a lot of these rumors is involving nuclear uh, missiles and, you know, the talk is starting to get nuclear, right? For the lack of a better word, right? But this is good, right? Because though we know that this is only rumors of war, these things have to happen, right? Because the scriptures say uh, about rumors of war and, and, and they're they going to be discussing these things. The war doesn't just happen overnight, right? So this is beautiful that, that this the talk a uh, 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 nuclear war is in the air, right? Because we know that's the final step to us getting out of here. You got something? Right? I got something for you, right? The book of Second Ezra, is chapter fifteen, and verse one, and it reads: "Speak, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, right. which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord. All right. So the Lord is putting these things out here so we can speak them into existence. Right, this is what the word prophecy means, to say it before it happens. Right, so we're telling you this. When we first got out here, we was telling you what, what these devils was going to do. Right, and, and, it, and it's coming to pass. Right. right, so this is a beautiful thing. And, and this right here is it, it, the, this is like the last blow. This is the knockout blow, the nuclear missiles. Right, right? so this thing is about to get knocked out. And none of y'all are going to be having any more fun here. Right, now you're going to have to choose up. And it's gonna be a tough choice, right? Because the Lord, the Lord will make you lose it all. Hey, so you better get ready for it, right? The book of Second Edges, chapter fifteen, and verse two, and it reads, "And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." Right. Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right, so if you in this truth, right, you shouldn't fear nothing that these devils is saying, right? Because you know, if you in this truth, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is covering you, right? If you, if you believe it in, in the Son, Yahweh Shah, right? If you repented, if you changed your ways, right, and came back to this truth, then you should be covered, right? If you're doing the works, you having charity, right? These things cover uh, uh, the sins that we've been doing our whole life, and you should have faith that the Lord is dealing with you, right? This is this is an important thing, right? So this is why the Lord say, "You fear not these things, even though these things are are fearsome, right? To to to, to worry about a famine, right? To worry about nuclear fire, about a civil war. Hey, that's hey, that's nothing uh, like. That's nothing like. Uh, but you should have the confidence that the Lord is dealing with you. Right, if you know this truth, right, because we understand that the Lord, and we have faith that the Lord is going to protect us in those days. But we're going to finish this. Right, right. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 4, and it reads, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, so if you don't have this truth, right, and you don't have faith in the Lord, and you look at us as just some men up here, disgruntled men, Hey, you're just going to die in that unfaithfulness. And it's a shame because you didn't have to, right? All you had to do was hearken and listen, right? right. But our people is a stiff-necked people, right? They want to do whatever the hell they want to do, and you can't tell them nothing, right? So you're going to have to die in that unfaithfulness, right? And it's, it's a shame, you know, because we love, we love Israel, right? right? This is why we out here doing the work. And hopefully we can get, uh, uh, get the rest of these elect and get out of here. Right? It's our heart to let it, 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 our, our, our heart, right? Like all Israel to be saved, right? But this time, it's not going to happen. And we have to deal with that, right? That's in our heart. It's our heart desire for all Israel to be saved, like Paul said, right? But we know two turns are going to be destroyed. And we're fine with that because that's, that's, the, that's the word of the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right. right. And this thing, you have to be able to take the bitter with the sweet. Right, right? And, this, and this is part of walking in that straight gate. Hey, it's not gonna be all, all, all sweet, 
right? But you have to be able to handle that and accept that, right? Yeah, to the 24, uh, uh, verse 6, and he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake and diverse places. Right, and this is what we've been hearing this week. A lot of rumors of war, right? Russia, Russia, Ukraine, and, and, and America, hey, they getting that nuclear uh, uh, talk started, but we know that this is just a rumor of war, right? But this, this is something good to hear. Like when you hear rumors, if you in school and you hear somebody uh, uh, got in a fight, you know, these rumors, when you hear them, it, it, it's good, right? You want to hear more of it, right? <laughs> hey, what happened? Who won? Uh, uh, did, was anybody get a bloody nose? <laughs> hey, hey, these are these things that make you happy to hear, right? Because you know that some, something is taking place, right, right, right? right? Something's going on. So the Lord is working, right? So it's a beautiful thing to hear. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like like you were saying, you know, I remember being in school, like, in the morning, like, yo, yo, these two are going to get it in after school. Right. And you, now nah, you, you're not even thinking about class. You waiting for, for um school to be over so you can see the showdown. You know what I mean? Right. That's how we feel right now, man. We, we happy to hear these things because we, we waiting for that showdown. That's we know right. the end is coming, man. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And, and the scriptures say, see that thou be not troubled. Hey, and we not troubled over there. That's right. Hey, we get out here in front of everybody, you know, preach the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, do the work. And hopes that we are saved. Right. Hey, so we not we not troubled by this. Right. Hey, we want to see the fight. <laughs> like, word, I hope they do get it cracking because hey, I got money on him. Right. Hey, right. hey, this is what it is. Right. So like, I hope Lord willing, well, we got that paper you see. Right. 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 Hold on. Oh, you. Oh, wait, did right. that go, go along with what we were saying? Nah, nah, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, all right, come on. Right. Well, give, give me a second, though. So like, yeah, I wanted to add on because, like you said, you know, we want to see this fight, right? right? The thing is that we don't have to choose sides and say we think this is because it's already been written in stone. Right. So we know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Right. It, it, it's like being given the script to the movie before the movie was being played out, man. You know, we already know what's going to happen. So like, right. you know so like, yeah, so like yeah. that's like saying, right, we're about to go watch a fight with Tyson and his prime. With one of those YouTube fighters. Yeah. Hey, What's her name? Hey, hey, hey. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. You know hey, he's gonna lose. But with it, and another thing is like is that movie uh 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 um what is it? Back to the Future. Right. right. Where he went back and he had the almanac. Right. He knew who was gonna win. Right. right. Hey, he placed his short sure bet. Right. Hey, you could place it all on that man right, if you knew right. it already was gonna come to pass. Right. right. Hey. So this thing is beautiful. Right. 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 So like it. What the scripture says, Book of Daniel, the saints take the kingdom this right. time around. That's it. And that's, that's it. you know, that's the hey, hey. beauty of the thing. We, we know, we can foresee. Hey, we, we know who wins. We know that Esau is going to lose. Right. And his kingdom is only temporary. Right. Right? And it's, and, it's, and it's put here to work on your fleshly lust and desire. That's right. Right? And we know that that's not going to last forever. Right? right? You can't. Can't keep uh, uh, eating sugar. Your teeth gonna fall out. <laughs> right, right. The book of Revelation, chapter twelve and verse twelve, and it reads: Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Right, and, and this and this scripture is speaking to those that understand this truth. Right. Hey, we gonna be in a heaven in that time, and we rejoicing, and we in heaven right now through in the mind through our understanding. But we know that if we do the right thing, the Lord is going to beam us up. So we rejoicing in this time, right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Right, so Esau is getting ready to come down on y'all that, that, that don't know this truth or that uh, uh, buck up against it. Hey, woe is coming to you. And, and this is these rumors of war, because woe is destruction and, and, and war brings that. That's right. Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Right. And, and Esau knows that uh, 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 when the, when the uh, prophets and the apostles come, that these are the last stages of his kingdom. Right. right. right? When we able to come up here and tell him that he's Esau Edom, who God hates. Right. This is the end of it. Right. Right, the veil is being ripped off of this place. And the truth is the truth is flourishing. 
So the only way he can get the truth out of here is to go to war. Huh. Right? And he knows that the Third World War, he lose. Right. So he know he got a short time. Hey, and this thing is going to ramp up very quickly. Right. Right. Also, at the end, it says three. Because he know it, he has but a short time. Esau Edom, he has a doomsday clock. Right. He has that doomsday clock. He's measuring the times diligently. Right. These regular Joe six packs don't know what's going on, but the one percent is the one that this word is entering into the gates of the nobles. They are measuring the times diligently. Right. This That's is right. why they're doing what they're doing with this with this pestilence, you know, and with this uh, got everybody all uh, masked up hey, guys. because they they going hey, they going to extreme extents hey. to make sure they can submit. Um, they're bullshit, man. Right. But ultimately, they're going to be moved out of the way uh, by your Howard Bosch and Howard Tot. You know, to be diligent, man. We're supposed to be looking at the times. We're supposed to be watching them, right? right. We're supposed to be on our towers. And a man, when, when a man is on the tower, he's watching, he's seeing everything. You know what I'm saying? He's letting people know, like, hey, this is going to happen. You can't be ignorant of these little scrimmages and, you know what I'm saying, all these little poisons that Esau is using against our right. people, man. Right. So this is our. Uh, Sabrat 5 and 15 says, be not ignorant of anything, right. any great matter or small. That's right. Hey, and this is, and this is that's a beautiful scripture because this is the exact mind state our people should be in. Right? This is why our people are destroyed so much because they're so ignorant. Somebody get Hosea 4 and 6. Our people are so ignorant, but the scriptures say, be not ignorant in any small matter, in anything. Right? So, so we're supposed to be diligently seeking the Lord, right? Because this is the only thing that's going to change the condition that we in. Nothing else is going to be able to change us except our Lord and Savior coming back and getting us out of this, this, this punishment that he put us in. That's right. Right? Because our Father has us on punishment. And we need him to get us off of that. Right? Hosea, verse 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Right, and, and, and the scriptures say, be not ignorant of any small thing. But the, the scripture uh, says in Hosea, his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And this is why we shouldn't be ignorant of any small thing. Right, because these small things add in the big thing. Right, and then it, take, it overtakes you to where you get destroyed. Right. And this is why Esau has us in the worst schools, right? He gives us, he give us the... Uh, the worst foods, right. right? To keep us destroyed and ignorant, right? Because your your brain is is, is one of the highest functioning uh, uh, things in your body, right? And it needs good things in order to work correctly. Right. So this is why he does this to us, right? Because he wants you to have a lack of knowledge so he can look down on you and think he's smart with them glasses on, right? right. To think that they're doing something because they got a weird glass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so they, hey, because this is what it is, right? They think that they can pull some science uh, uh, words out of their ass and, and think that they better than you, right? You have to know what they talking about in every matter. And if you don't, you should be looking into it, right? You better be getting and learning instead of getting on that damn phone and on a damn uh, video game all day. You should be getting into how they're getting over on you, right? And this is why people are destroyed. Because you, you so trapped in that black culture, right. right? You trapped in all that wickedness, right? You think it's so cool, right? And Eve, she don't know no better, right? She should make you go through all that just to show you worthy of her, but she ain't nothing, right? Right? And, and she'll destroy you, for, and she'll destroy you, uh, uh, and not even know it because she has no wisdom. But you steady following behind this lady. This is why we out here, right? To to reprove you people. Right, and to show you the, the, the route to go. Right, this is why we give double honors because these elders have shown us the correct path. Uh, right, and we all have to travel in the right path. The straight gate is it, only one gate, there's only one truth. That's right. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Right. That there shall be no priest to me, seeing though as forgotten the law of the Hawa power. Right, so we, so our people, most of our people ain't priests no more. This is why you got uh, uh, the Edomites in the Catholic churches think they the authority of the Bible, right? So now the Lord set up the priest of Baal over you, right? And, and you're not able to do his work anymore. You're not able to understand the dark sayings anymore, right? Because right? you rejected the truth, right? right? And that's a terrible, 
that's a terrible position to be in and right. out and out of darkness. Right. That's right. Hey, that's not a good place to be. If I may also ask a lot yeah, out there. And ultimately, he's trying, you know, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he does certain things you had mentioned earlier to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans detached from your power, lacking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Because I believe that's wisdom of Solomon in the seventh chapter. It reads, um, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai loveth none, but him not dwells with wisdom. Right. Not wisdom of this world, but wisdom of the scriptures. You see? So when, when, when you're detached from the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, you're detached from your power. That's right. <laughs> and you know, that, and that also goes into the, um, those uh, 10 virgins, the five that didn't have the oil, they didn't have this wisdom to keep that lamp going. Right. They went When they went out to go get that wisdom, it was too late. Right. You know, they came back, the door was shut. Hey, uh, somebody they said, verily, verily, I never knew you. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, we should, we should bring that up. I would also forget that children. Right. Go, go ahead, go ahead. That's how the Lord, that's how we're in this condition right now. The Lord, the care of our, 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 our sons and daughters, okay? That's why we have generation after generation of being people uh, of being ignorant of things to come, right. of things to be. Right. Okay? Oh, and forget of the name of the Haba Ashim Yahushai. When the Lord turns back on you, you're gonna forget his name, you're gonna forget what it's all about. Because in the name comes the authority of your Haba Ashim Yahushai, right? If you don't if you don't know the authority of your Haba Ashim Yahushai, you're not gonna know uh what the thing's supposed to be, what the Lord is about. Because it's the Lord is about order, strength. And culture, right? And that's what the law is about. Because the law gives us laws, statutes, and commitment to do the will, to do his will according to uh according to his ways. Hey, go ahead, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, we shall never hold their peace day or night, ye that make mention. Of the Lord Yahweh, Yahushai, keep not silent. Go ahead, go ahead, and, 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 and the only people that you know mentioning the, the, the Lord's name, the righteousness, Yahweh, Yahushai, is the elders of GMS on them. Like that. You know what I mean? Who taught us the truth. You know what I mean? And profess the name more than any other camp. That's how you know that you know them by their fruits. A lot of these camps out here doing in vanity, man. Don't, don't say the Lord's name by wearing tassels and rapping, speaking of Sakari. Other rappers like that, other other rap groups like that. You know what I mean? It's like you can see, you can see who's got the who's got the truth, man. It can only be one truth, right? Right? It can't be this guy got the truth. Everybody don't got a slice, man. It ain't everybody's pie. It's only one truth, one doctrine, and one mind. That's it. And one body. And that's why we call the Hallows and Bowers, because the Lord said, "Give you the rest." Jerusalem, the prison of the earth, right? right? To talk about everything that's going on right, right. now, right? Not only it gets the first prophets and the first brothers right, in this truth, right? right? But to talk about what's going on in our world, okay? And to, and to tell it to the ears of our people, okay? Right. Because right. we are watchmen. Right. We're supposed to watch for all things, right? right. right. We're not going to be ignorant of small matters or great matters. Right. We're going to okay. speak of all things. Go ahead, boy. I got something back to brother up. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Do not say, do not say you make a watchman to the house of Israel. Not to one or no one else. But the other nations got to know their judgment too. But specifically, our talk, our our ways of expressing the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the ears of the shin of Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Okay? We are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? Every time we open this book and speak that word, that's the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, and that's the power, and that's the name of, of Yahweh Power by Hashem Yahushua. Right. Right. That's another out there. Mm -hmm. So, like there, um, if I may add on to it real quick, because um, we were talking about how you know these people are not bearing the right fruit. You know what I mean? So, there's two types of fruits, man, that the husband man is gonna harvest. You know, because the harvester is Yahweh. You know what I mean? And and there's the fruit that he's gonna gather to himself. And then there's the fruit that he's going to gather for the wine press right. to be treaded on. Right. You know what I mean? So we we're gonna, we know what camps are bearing the good fruits and what, what camps are going to be, you know, treaded on. You know what I mean? After by the, by the Lord. Right. The Lord, he wants the first fruit. Right. 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 The first fruit is the best fruit. Right. Right. The rest of the fruit is it's fruit too. Right. But it's fruit for different for different uses. That's right. Right. But the first fruit is what is what the Lord requires. Uh, out of every, uh, out of every harvest, right? Because when the, when the time to the to the Levite 
in, in the Old Testament, it was required for you to give the tenth of your first proof. Right, right. right. I mean, and that's I mean, what he's looking for. If I may add to that, we're Cain and Abel to back you up on that. What Abel's, what Abel's offering, what the Abel offer? The first flock, the first of his flock. Right, the first of the flock. Like you see? That's right. And, that, and that's, again, that's acceptable. Right. Not how it requires the best of the best. That's right. But, hey, hey, we're going to get into that parable of the, of the, of the wise and the foolish virgin, right? There's the book of Matthew, chapter 25, starting at the 10th verse. Matthew 25, starting at the 10th verse. There's the book of Matthew, chapter 25, starting at the top. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Right. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Right, and the wise and the wise virgins are the ones that's out here doing the work, right? And getting the oil and, and distributing the oil, that's right. right? And doing and doing what the Lord say and getting this truth, that's right. right? This truth is like in the oil, right? Right, fine oil. Right, that's able to keep our light burning, right? Because if we are the light, you need the oil. You need oil or some type of fuel to keep that thing going. That's right. Right, and that fuel is this Bible. That's right. Right, so if you don't know, if you don't know this Bible, then you are uh, you are out of oil. That's right. right. Your light's going out, and now you in the dark. That's right. And what we trying to do out here is distribute oil to to your mind, right, and get you going, right. That's right. And if I may add. Just like um, the Proverbs says that the commandments is a lamp and the laws is a light. You know what I mean? Right. So to to, love, to keep those commandments, that's the real love of Yahweh. You know, that's the that's the way you show him love, by obedience. Right. You know, keeping this word. Right. So if you're not in obedience, you don't have that light in you. Right. you. You don't got that fire, that that oil to keep the fire going. It's okay. You can go through. Right, right. And, and a lot, of, a lot so, of people are just fresh out of light. Know, so, uh, that, you good? You good? All right, all right. Uh, I got some questions. Uh, you good? Okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. That's right. Therefore, get wisdom. With all that getting, get understanding. That's right. Hey, so, so the wisdom of the scripture is the principal thing that's going to get us, uh, uh, that's going to get us out of here first and foremost. But it's also gonna uh, uh, shine light into our path while we in this hellhole, right? Because right? we in we we surrounded in, in, uh, America is the valley of the shadow of death, That's right. right? So it's darkness, and you need some type of light, uh, understanding to see what's around you, right? right? Uh, uh, one uh, uh, one example of that is knowing that the so-called white man is Esau Edom. That's right. Hey, that's a big light that you put in on your path. When you know these things, right. right? Because now you understand the enemy, right? You understand who you are. You get to, you start to get some understanding on history, right? You start to get a lot of, uh, you, a lot of things start to come together. The puzzle starts to come clear, right. and, and, and now you, and now you're able to make better decisions. That's right. right. It's a, it's a lot, if I may add, right? When you got that light, you got that man. Surrounded by darkness, you want to see these monsters. That you want to recognize these monsters, right. okay? So you, so you avoid them. So you right. say, stay out their way. You see a snake, you don't know if it's venomous. You know what I mean? But with the scripture, you get the knowledge to see who you should deal with. Right. Okay? So, so the scripture is the principal thing. So y'all all should be looking to get as much oil or get as much understanding as, as, as the container can hold. Right. 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 Forsaking not my laws. Okay? Right. Yeah. We, we, we need to know the law, because your house shot, spot of the law. Coming to the house in Bowers, spot of the law. Steady to show thyself a book unto your house by Hashem, your house shot, spot of the law. Uh, reading the Bible and hear the word of prophecy is you knowing the law, because everything, all those things are on the law for you to obey and to accept and, and to reprove, uh, not only to yourself, but to our, to our nations, right? Uh, to, to tell that before it comes to pass. And that's the that's the job of a teacher and a, and a, and a, uh, and a prophet. Right. Right. We supposed to love our brothers as we love ourselves. That's right. So I know if I'm in trouble, hey, I'm a, I'm gonna try to find a way to get out of it. And if I find a way for myself, I'm supposed to find a way for my brother too. That's right. And we found a way, which is the scripture. That's right. So wisdom is a principal right. thing. Right. So we found this way. Right. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Right. While the bridegroom tarried, 
they all slumbered and slept. Right, and this is what's happening. While the bridegroom, Terry, now Terry means that, that they away for some time or, or they waiting, right? So so what the Lord is uh, tarrying at this moment, right? And now our people are all asleep, right? They all want to live the American dream, right? They all want a good job, a nice car, a, a cushy apartment, right? So they sleeping and slumbering right now, right? And they don't want to be woken up out of this American dream. Right. Right. right, you have to be sleeping if you dreaming. That's right. And they don't want to be woken up out of this. Right, they don't. They don't want to uh to face the uh the punishment on top of punishment, because it's a punishment just being here. Right. So if you know that the so-called white man is the devil, and you tell him, hey, he's gonna try to put more punishment on That's you. Right. Hey, so our people are just tired and worn out. That's right. Right. But you gotta build up the fight to get out of here. Because the righteous is scarcely going to be saved. That's right. So where is the Senate going to appear? Right. He ain't going to appear. He's going to appear down here in this nuclear fire. Right. And, you know, and, and that slumbering and sleeping goes um, goes into that watchman, that 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 um that dumb dog that's slumbering and sleeping. And that's your fault for following him. You know, these pastors that are not warning you, that are not telling you to keep the laws to the best of your ability, telling you that it's just about um, having faith, that's why all you so-called Christians are in and out of those churches doing whatever you guys want and thinking that at the last minute, y'all could be saved. Right. And we understand that you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, right? You don't want to, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, uh, hurt anybody's feelings for lack of a better word. But you have to be able to, uh, uh, you have to be able to come to terms with this thing, right? And, and, and feathers are going to be ruffled in this. So you have to come to terms with that. So don't allow your don't allow your kindness to be used as a weakness, right? Put some put some real uh, meat on your bone. And at midnight there was a cry made: Behold, the bridegroom cometh; go ye out to meet him. All right. So this is when the Lord comes back. So when the Lord comes back, He gonna require that you have that oil, right? That's right. What? And you know He's coming like a thief in the night. So that's why these people weren't ready, you know. Right. And uh, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. I don't trim your lamp, it's like there's a time, the time right. the water is going to come, right? right. If this water is not going to be out anymore, right? That means this word is going to be spoken, but not everybody going to hear that. That's why you trim your, uh, the word going to be. In, in, Trim your land, right? Because right. what's the time for you to speak about this truth, right? What's well, live right now? We live right now, right? But not everybody want to hear that. But when, when trouble come, you're not gonna hear us talking. But us, because the boy would, we're gonna talk and say, yo, that, that's that's what we expect. That's what we expect to come. But the right. other, the other people that that they don't, hey, the other virgin, they're not gonna, they're, they're not gonna hear that anymore. Right. What we spoken before. Right. So we're gonna be speaking ourselves. We're gonna speak right. about it, right? Like, right. We're not gonna be in the house if I was speaking like that, like, like, like openly, right. like that, you know, because you're not gonna say the tongue of the whole time. Right. Right. That's right, that's right. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Right, so so when that time comes, the time of persecution, right, we, uh, 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 part of us trimming our lamp is getting to understand his knowledge, right? Exactly. And making sure that we know how to keep the fire burning right, which means we have a, a good understanding of his Bible, right? And, and like you say, when the time of uh, uh, the famine of the word comes, you're going to be looking for the, for, for the truth of his word, right? You're going to be looking for that oil so you can trim your lamp. But we're going to say not so in that time. No, we're not going to tell you nothing. Right, because we sat out here and, and, and we was out here for years and, and, and you didn't come and inquire. That's right. But now you see the prophecies come to pass. You want to come and ask questions? Hey, there's a time limit on this thing. That's right. Right? These words will self destruct. Yeah. And you better get it while the getting's good. That's right. And then when we say good, go to buy, go buy it to someone else. These pastors that was telling all those last right, right. right. okay? No, go ask them now, okay? Right. Not, not ask anymore. Right. We, the option we, got, we, got, we, we have is to know when the time to come is, right? Because right, right. when the, uh, the Lord say, uh, don't take them, uh, oh, when the Lord say, don't take the mark, or, uh, don't take uh, the job, or they take the, uh, the, uh, the mark of the beast, right? We ain't gonna take that. 
you know, you know what time it is, right? You know, before, before uh, the, uh, the trip come, uh, before, before the war come, the trip got to come first. You're not going to know what time it is, right? You're not going to, oh, yeah, the war going to blow up and the war going to be here. Right. That's what got to happen first, before right. the thing come, right? right. You know, when you, see, when you see those thing come, that's when you know what time it is, right? That, that's what you're going to be able to hide yourself in this time, you know what I mean? When the persecution comes, you're going to hide yourself. But there, there's boys that are going to say, oh, yeah, you know, the war got to start first, then, then, eh, eh, we're gonna make move. Right. But we, what, that's what, the, what time it is, we're gonna make move before that. No? I got a quick piece of right. uh, The book of Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 10, and it reads, Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, <clears throat> and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand. Right, right, and like he said, you're going to end up going to the Catholic Church and, and, and the wicked, right, and they're going to tell you, well, uh, hey, it don't matter. That's not the mark of the beast. Hey, that's not what that's talking about. This is what it's talking about. God love everybody, right, and you're not going to understand. And the scripture say, when the blind lead the blind, they both fall into a ditch. That's right. And this is and this is what this, this is what Esau Edom hoped for you. That's right. I hope that you in the same ditch with him, picking the same kind he gonna pick. That's right. This is what he's talking about. Right. This is why he's doing all this, right? So you so you could not have salvation. That's right. And it sounds crazy, but this is exactly what it is. Right. Right. And, and, hey, the truth the truth is a strange thing. That's right. Right. Compared to what you've been taught your whole life. Right. right. Hey, so you have to lend an ear and, and make sure that, that you're not ignorant in any any matter. Right? Because when you're not, then you'll see these things very clear. Right. Hey, it's funny that you say that because it's true. You saw it's been conditioning people to think you were both come from aliens and all types of weird shit, you know? So when, when uh, they do come, you know, you're not going to understand. Uh, yeah. right, right, because when you, when you are only interested in money, hey, and that's the only thing on your mind, it's easy to trick you. Right, because now we know your they know your vices. That's right. Right, and they can use it all against you. That's right. And they can and they can make it seem like something that is not. Right. right. Who you gonna listen to? A man with a million dollars or a man with one dollar right. in, in this world? That's right. And we trying to tell you to fight for a penny. Hey, that's a hard thing to wrap your mind right. around. Right. right? right. And, and this is why it's set up like this. How they say when a rich man is speaking. Every man, everybody right. listen. Right. And even when a poor man speaks, uh, they say, "What fellow is this?" Right. You know, when right. he stumble, they help overthrow him. That's right. 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 That's why you. That's why you look at a man that had millions of people in slavery, right? And you look at him like he's the savior of the world. That's right. Right. right? A man that got all this by theft and deceit, and you look at him like he's the noble man out here. That's right. Hey, this world is 100% backwards, right? And us coming out here and telling you this, right? It, 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 it puts a, uh, a bad feeling on you that, you that you've been led astray, right? And then your neck is hard, right? You wanna, you wanna say that we wrong, right. and you can prove it now because the so-called white man said it. Right. Hey, you guys are just waxing worse out here. That's right. Yeah, that's what and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Go ahead, read that again, mother. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, right, and so the door was shut. Right, so the Lord is going to slam the door on y'all that don't have the oil. Right, right? all y'all that think y'all know something, think y'all got a couple dollars and that's going to save you, right? Think think that Jesus is going to uh, come down with a healing in his wings for you. Hey, the Lord is going to slam the door shut on you. That's right. And say, no, go to your enemy. That's right. What you been doing. That's right. Hey, don't come up here trying to work for me. I never know you. That's right. right. You never wanted to do nothing for me, so why should I do something for you? That's right. Hey, these are these are the even harsher realities that you're gonna be That's faced right. with. That's harsher right. than somebody looking at you for calling the white man the devil. That's right. Right? That's nothing compared to when the Lord put fire on you. Right. And burn you up because you wanted to be wicked. 
and follow a man that enslaved millions of people. That's right. Right, and it poisons everything that you have. Right. And look at him like he like he's some kind of savior. Right. You're gonna be destroyed for that. Man, right. woman, and child. That's right. right. And especially right. the black woman. This they, they love the Esau Edom loved the black woman. She'll sit there and cake for him all day. Right. And all y'all that follow behind her gonna be destroyed right with right. That's, That's right. right. Hey, I wanted to add on real quick um, about the door being shut. And that door is the kingdom of heaven because this marriage is between the kingdom and Yahweh Shai. They said it was prepared, that the kingdom is coming down prepared like a bride, you know, for for for, for, for um, her husband. Right. And the one that's going to rule over that is going to be Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? And we're, we're being bidden to that, that wedding. You know, we're being bidden to that wedding. And all those people that are going to follow um, the Lord, it's going to get that door shut, man. All right. And all y'all that didn't want to do the work, you're going to get destroyed too. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So that's the that's an important part, man, doing the work, man. Uh, because that's what's going to show your faith, man. So you can't you can't, you can't, can't be in this thing, you know what I mean, just saying you're in this thing. you got to actually work for it. That's right. right. It's not enough just to say you believe. Hey, the Lord said to Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Right, right. So you're going to have to get up here and confess the name of the Lord. That's right. right. You're going to have to get up here and do some work. That's or right. Or you're going to have to uh, uh, sow some tithes, have some charity. You're going to have to do something. That's right. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the end, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Now, when I read this, right? I was looking into like, okay, consider the ant, watch the ant, see how they move, right? So there's this, there's a harvester ant, right? It's called the bearded ant, the only ant that has a beard, right? So they do all these work and harvest, right? The Bible was telling you to be like that. It says here, go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Get a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. Right, so that goes into how you gotta be, you gotta go, be not ignorant in any small matter. Hey, the ant don't have any God, but he know what he gotta do. That's right. He know he gotta eat, he gotta get out there and do it. That's right. Right, he gotta look into everything. He gotta make sure it's all right for his, his safety. You have to do that too. Right? This is what the Bible is teaching us. Hey, don't be slothful. Right? Go uh, uh do your best to work out your, your salvation for you and your family. These are the important things. Not trying to uh look good for the white man. Right? Not trying to make a a, a 401k investment. Your investment should be in your salvation. That's right, that's right, right? James, uh, James said that too, uh, even so, faith, you have not was, is dead, be the Lord. Alright, so, yeah. so the scriptures say faith without work is dead. So it's not just believing, you got to work, right? Or else you're going to die. That's what the scriptures say, faith without work is dead. Hold on, hold on one second. You believe, you believe in the Bible? Now, what's your nationality, man? My nationality is right. Irish and English. Irish and English? All right, man, you have a nice day. Right, hey, and you know, you got people that come up and just say things, right? But the scriptures say, hold thy peace when I come into the house of the Lord. Right, so they not believing in, in nothing that we say. Hey, our people are nothing but a joke out here. Right, the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man are looked at as a joke out here. By the damn murderer and the devil is looked at as a noble man. That's right. Right, and this is putting and this is getting and changing out here. That's right. Because we're not playing those games out here. Right? We know that we know what this Bible says. That's and right. we know the truth out here. Right? We know our enemy and we're not shucking and jiving for y'all. Uh that's 18. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, a man may say to us faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. 
Right. So this is how we do it. We sh we get we do everything in decently in order. Right. We showing the faith by the work. We showing the work because of our faith. Right. It all matches up. Right. And if you and if you can go and if you go into your scripture and things don't match up for you, hey, you don't got the truth. Then. You better get the get, you better get the study in just a little more, so you could get the whole truth and it all makes sense to you. That's right. Because if it don't make sense, it ain't right. Right. And if it, and if something, it might not be.